Hey guys, in the middle of building something for my daughter, big greenhouse or greenhouse addition. Um, if you end up with used metal, you see that? Extra holes. <laughs> Sometimes they don't line up. All right, you're thinking rivets. Let's think again. All right, rivets are for vertical services, not really to be used on the roof. Hey guys, do you sometimes catch yourself, like me, using used metal for repairs or even new jobs? I mean, sometimes it was just the wrong color. And they always end up with screw holes. You see, there's a rivet right there. Now, now don't jump off of here because we're not going to be showing you just rivet. We're going to show you something easier because the rivet is actually expensive to use. It's not cheap. Now... You're looking at an aluminum rivet. This is a 5 8 aluminum rivet. 5 8 by 3 16 aluminum rivet. That's about what you need when you're dealing with a standard number 10 screw. See? Right there. However, when you have that number 10 rivet, you're going to need numerous different things. You're going to need the rivet. You're going to need a sealing washer, which is what you see here right there that would normally be on one of these type of screws okay and you're going to place that on there now that's the normal way that we see people do this all the time and then they'll get themselves a fender washer and they'll put this through the hole put the fender washer behind it have somebody hold it so that don't really change much or you can glue this to the back side of the hole and let it sit overnight like some people do and come back and do that the real solution Cheaper and simpler. Piece of scrap metal. This is from 26 gauge. Cut you a piece, bend a corner, and then you're going to hold that metal like this. I'm going to bring it right over here. I've made a little mark on it. And then I'm going to take a very cheap roofing screw and we're going to make a hole. And you're like, no, I'm like, yeah, but I'm not going to make a hole all the way through. You see where I stopped at about one third of the way down into the width. Now my helper can literally see when he lines this hole up with the hole that's on the roof. So he's going to take this there. There's his hole. So he can hold it with pump pliers or lineman's pliers or whatever he wants to use with it. And then he can go up here to where the hole is at and hold this up against the hole and then I can get on top and just shoot the screw straight to it and it'll pull it up and then the, of course the uh, ceiling washer that is around it will seal the hole so let me show you that right quick he's going to grab that here here's one over here this is Kira's uh, greenhouse extension so she's she's uh, this is polycarbonate going out here to the frame and then it goes down to the ground but there is a hole right there. I'm going to go up top. He's going to put this in there. You can see the light coming through the hole. See it right there? And there's that. He's going to be able to line that one up. And I'm going to shoot a screw through it. And he'll be able to hold it, keep this from spinning as that seals it. All right. So give me just a second. I'm going to give this to him. And I'm going to head up there. So up to the roof line we go. A cheap screw um, guys I use these are acorn brand so Jake sales has got them if you want to get real cheap real good quality screws okay get them there they, they got them on Amazon for like 25 bucks for a 250 count it's cheaper than Lowe's Home Depot all right so there's the hole we're talking about right there and you can see I'm trying to get a close-up you see that hey move that out from under move it away from the hole now put it back now you see how he's able to line that up now we will go ahead, and even if he's a little off, see, I can grab that. And I'm just going to let the torque of the screw grab, and there you go. Nice and sealed. So, we can continue to go on, and I want to show you, I'm going to show you another method that we also have used, which is just taking, see that? That's a row of holes right there. There's the screws going into the purlin, and there's a row of holes right there. 
person that was helping me did that with a piece of plywood. And you can do that too. But that gets to cost a lot. You're still using a screw, but on every one of these jobs, like when I do the flashing on the job, on every one of these type of little things I do, I end up with uh, lots of little trim pieces of metal. So why would you go through the trouble when you can just take a trim piece of metal, cut you a square, don't got to be pretty. We're going to uh, go ahead and make our piece here. And you can do it. I can do it brown side up, whatever. This is just a piece of metal. And I'm going to bend it like that. And if you're wondering about that bent part hanging down, you can just tap that right back up if you want to. So we'll go back over one more time real quick. See how it's holding it on that? You can just use a piece of 2 by 4 on the ground. Center it up. Get it started just a little. Now watch. That's all that's going through it. You don't need to go more than that because then you're already getting a full thread and you want this to compress as it grabs. So just do it like that and then there's the metal. And that will go up there. He can see the hole that's, that he's putting it over. And if the hole is real close to something else, you can make these smaller. And then you're not on the hook for 10 cents a piece right there. These are actually quite expensive. You, they cost you about $8 for a 50 pack of these. And for a 100 pack of these is 13 bucks. So what do you already have on the job site? Screws, whether it's the 3 8 commercial style rib setter or it's the 5 sixteenths, it don't matter. You can just use a piece of scrap metal and that's like through the side wall as well as through the roof. It seals perfect. That's not too complicated, all right? So save yourself some money and some time with things you already have available and don't waste your money and make it complicated. And about two thirds of these will actually still leak because you got to get up there when the, when the pull pin comes out and you have that now so in other words i'll only use these on the wall so when the pull pin comes out that's still a hole and it'll leak and you have to go silicone it but as i just showed you here with that washer on that screw and that heavier gauge metal don't don't use 29 gauge use some 26 or 24 seals never loosens never fails all right, guys, y'all be good. Working on a project for my girl. I'm trying to get this finished up for her. It's going to go on the end of the building here. So let me see here. So there you go. Pipes out here, 26 foot long, and it is 11 and a half feet out, and it's going to be all plexiglass, whatever, polycarbonate, right? Mm -hmm. Polycarbonate. Polycarbonate, and we'll have it built for her. All right, wintertime project. You guys be good.